hello. So, um, quick video about or showing about uh, our three division community fixes, compatibility mode, geometry mode, geometry 3D mode, and what Helix mod and Helix blog is all about. So let's say I'm new to this and I pretend I'm just completely new. So I've got and I installed my Witcher 3 uh, game and this is the first time I play it. Don't know anything about it. I heard it's pretty awesome and so on. So I go and launch the game with the default um, driver installation. And well, I'm waiting for the game to load. I'll start. and right off the bat I'm greeted with this message 3D compatibility mode enabled ok, Re rating excellent, ok press this or that to toggle this info off so main menu everything looks like well like this which is basically 2D Let's say I'm continuing my game, I played it a little bit like this. Yes, I can disable this info for now. <coughs> I'm waiting. for the game to load, obviously and this is we see some fo sort of 3D vision now so right <coughs> we are now we are playing the game as you can see it looks pretty decent I would say in 3D Still, depth is not there, although the depth is maximum. Convergence, we can adjust a little bit more the convergence to make like that type of pop out. Like this, yeah, now this kind of looks more like 3D. However, if you look around Geralt, the main character, you can see a lot of hallowing or hallows or artifacts. Let, let's call them artifacts. But still, Pretty playable. I'm maintaining solid 30 FPS at this resolution. The so one thing to, 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 to mention is that compatibility mode doesn't stress the GPU as hard as uh, a proper geometry to defix. <coughs> That's because a compatibility mode renders one eye and then composes the other eye from what was previously rendered instead of trying to render the same image from two perspectives or two cameras so as you can see the text is very distorted here so yeah uh, the Witcher 3 has uh, by default a compatibility mode so in the compatibility section I will use a different game that doesn't have one but for the sake of uh, this video I'm going to use this game so I found this guide here at the top it's actually a sticky uh, 3D Vision fixes by Helix mode and how to add compatibility mode to DirectX 11 games so if I click this one obviously <laughs> the videos I'm still recording <laughs> so but we read here uh, NVIDIA 3D Vision fixes before you try to add compatibility mode to a DirectX 11 game, make sure you to check Helix mode blog. We have or we already fixed hundreds of games for 3D Vision using proper geometry, stereo 2D, and compatibility mode is not required. Alternatively, you can use 3D Fix Manager. So if I click on this one, it will take me here. With like any blog, it shows all the fixes that we previously made, but we can also go to game list and the game list automatically refreshes and adds every day every single time a new fix is added it adds it to this um, uh, list so if we scroll or we use control F and which uh, 3 wild hunt you can see we already have a proper fix 
right and some known issues and key uh, modes and so on and so on so you can either use and follow the instructions from here so you manually download and you copy the files and la 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 or alternatively you can use 3d fix manager so i'm going to click on this one and i'm presented here with 3d fix manager and i can go to download this one tip, tip, tip. takes a couple of minutes to download <coughs> I open the zip yep and let's make a folder called temp or temporary and we basically just extract everything into this temporary folder obviously you can put it wherever you want I just put it on the desktop for um, simplicity sake I want yeah that's better something more black and then we just run it what I can do is hit properties compatibility and run this program as an administrator some options in it will require it to be an uh, uh, to have administrator privileges Threat has been detected. and sometimes you get this thing which I can say for a fact that there isn't any virus related to it so you can either depending on your antivirus you can either open it and for a vast for example go to uh, settings then you can go to components file shield you can customize you can say exclusions and you add it there uh, and then you need also to go to up you also need to go to um, behavior shield and do the same thing but I'm going to disable this one for an hour just for simplicity sake there isn't anything wrong with the archive I already submitted the file and the creator of the program already submitted the file to a vast for like one billion times however every time a patch to the program is made a vast for some reason think things is something different and um, flags it as a threat of some sort so there isn't anything wrong with it but it probably flags it because the program tries to scan for um, all the games that you have installed so and something doesn't like oh come on oh. okay drag and drop failed sorry about that going to delete all of this let's just do it like this yeah there we go so again I'm going to I think it's already marked as yeah going to run it <coughs> and as you can see after you run it initially it takes some time to pop in and there's a new version yes I want to update yes I want to or no depending if you have your own uh, customized profiles but you, as you can see it already looks and finds all the games that that are installed on your um, computer so uh, one thing I like to do is to do that and to add the search paths like uh, steam wherever your steam is installed otherwise I noticed it doesn't pick up um, the location properly so steam steam apps and common 
right and search for games probably it will pick up a couple of them more of them yeah as you can see the list just um, got a little bit bigger and let's pick origin games as well search games <coughs> apparently that's it so if you go to the Witcher Wild Hunt which is that one indeed you have the ability you have all the information here that's kinda the same on the blog but you can also say download 3D fix and it will download the fix and you can say install 3D fix and you'll be uh, marked with this pop-out or yeah this pop-out uh, will appear uh, saying that uh, the version of 3D Migoto uh, that the fix includes is that one and the latest one is that one do you want to upgrade? I say yes I want to upgrade and install complete and enable uh, fix D disable or enable so I want to enable the fix and now you have the ability to play into D if, I, if you click play into D 3D Vision will not start at all well the game doesn't start at all for some reason if I try to play in 3D I get it there Up. Okay. ah yeah that's why so as you can see 3D Vision didn't start at all control T does nothing so now if I try to play in 3D takes the, the the this game takes a little bit to load so I got confused there I, th I thought initially it crashed but it didn't <coughs> so play in 3D game is loading and loading and then we get this one as you can see the whole uh, 3D vision <sighs> pop out information is changed saying what what's in this 3D vision fix what's new and so on but most importantly as you can see in the background everything is in 3D even the menus so if i hit continue now the witch siri had quarreled with Geralt ran into an old friend Kira Mex sorceress told the witcher about a mass mage siri had seemed to take in shelter in his hideout the witcher <coughs> seemed to find it with Kira in tow you can see how the game actually looks in proper geometry 3D so this is proper geometry 3D no funky halos everything has depth everything has uh, uh, how to say feeling there's a weight to the entire world it's well everything is like where it should be basically if you want to toggle to uh, compatibility mode you can still do that this is basically compatibility mode so this is how compatibility mo mode looks like and this is proper tri oh not that one sorry and this is proper 3d you can see the depth I think overall even the quality if you look at the bushes here on the right even the quality looks better with proper 3d See? So yeah. No funky halos around the menus unlike in compatibility mode. And so on and so on. So this is basically what the video is trying to show if you have a game that you want to play make sure you download this app scan your games and look if your game is in this list 
if it's in this list it has a 3D vision fix and I recommend using this one uh, alternatively or if you can't find a game in the list go always go to helix mod by using this link or just typing the address and go to the game list and see if your game is in this list if not the only other option is to add compatibility mode which is the next video I'm going to make and uh, for compatibility mode the game needs to run in DirectX 11 which 90% of the games released in well this year 2017 and next year and probably 2016 are or most of the games were released in uh, DirectX 11. So I really hope this helps. Until next time.